Hello, it's the Dazzling One teaching tips and tricks to the everyday girl. I'll get your gorgeous to you. In today's video, we are going to continue with our lookbook series with a beautiful holiday look called Cherry and Cherry. Let's get started. What a fun, fun look. Well, we already started with having our foundation on and our concealers and our brows done. Now we're going to apply our eye primer. This is an amazing product. I've done it, used it on most videos. Usually I have it done prior to starting. But it is a wonderful product and I thought we'd start from there. You simply apply it using the middle fingers. Our eyeshadow colors today are Sunlit Rose, Candlelight, and Hazel nut. Using our um, angled shape brush we're going to start with our hazelnut and we're going to just cover that from the lash line going all the way up to right under our brows. Based on your skin tone it will show up. This is a very very soft look on the eyes I believe basically because the lips are really a bold look so they wanted the eyes to kind of play off kind of a soft way. So we once you have the hazelnut on you're just gonna you know sm, you know apply it very smoothly on from the lash line to the brow and fill in any place that you might have missed. You'll notice sometimes things are not as crisp because it's really challenging to video and get your makeup on perfect but we I think have gotten a little better as we've gone now using our all over brush we are going to apply really a wide line of the uh, sunlit rose I believe in the middle there it's really really beautiful and we're going to put that in our crease going just a little bit up and a little bit down just to kind of fit that in so the hazelnut was a matte color and the sunlit rose is a really really soft uh, shimmer so you are going to have that shimmery color in there which is beautiful and when you're thinking festive in times like that you really want things to you know have that color in there that that you know that's shining and everything okay and I'm just gonna blend that in as we're going okay it really does look um, you know I'm sorry that was candlelight that we put in there Okay, so you can just kind of see we blended it. It's a very soft look. Now we're going to kind of pat the sunlit rose, which is a rosier color. We're going to pat that just on the lid there and blend as we do as we go along with it. The difference between, I'm going to do a video on it, the difference between swiping your color on and patting your color on and just showing you the difference in application tips. And again, we are using our angled brush and I'm kind of just patting the color on it because I really want it to be bold right in that one section and then just sweeping there you will notice a little bit of fallout at the bottom but we'll clean that up and some of it will be okay to kind of blend in with our cheeks believe it or not because they are soft, such softer colors so those colors again are hazelnut candlelight in our crease and on our on our lid we used sunlit rose now we're going to put on false lashes and we did um, we have more of a softer look you can wear a more dramatic look um, I wanted to go with a softer look and you'll notice um, with the application tip is that I kind of for this look I wanted them extended I wanted them you could cut them down too to achieve this but I wanted a really natural look and you can even put mascara on top of them if you want to or you can buy a pair that are super dramatic and um, so that's one thing that that is really um, they're, they're fun to play with I know some people wear them every day I just noticed the model had them on in the picture and I thought hey that'd be a fun little touch um, you know for this for this particular look but you, you will notice I do apply mine where they're kind of going longer out toward the um, outer part of my eyelid there and it gives you just a just a touch of drama because they are so natural looking which is fun 
um it's funny because I, I you know it depends some days i want people to notice i'm wearing them and some days i just want them to look ju just like my lashes but just a little more um you know so it's it, they're just fun i'm really having some challenges with this one but we got it on <laughs> okay so and we will apply that one to the other eye there the I really like this adhesive I didn't use the one that came with these particular lashes because it didn't seem to be a really good so if you have a brand that you prefer to use that you find that you know works better for you stick with that brand even if you like the lashes so I ended up grabbing the other one because the one that that little tube that came with it was not um, it just didn't seem to wear well so you know the more you do it the better it the easier it becomes you know it just um, again I'm trying to do this and tape at the same time so it is a bit of a challenge but you know some people are just master at this <laughs> But it's it's a fun thing, you know, and I just I think those colors really came out beautifully on the eyes and they're, they are slightly higher. I, I noticed, but you can always pull them down and adjust them to get them exactly the placement that you want. Another tip, too, that uh, we will be using a liner. Liners are good to cover up if you don't get them exactly right both times like one eye you know even like with eyeshadow at times one eye you're really good at and the other eye you just don't seem to get it just right um, one thing that you can do to kind of fix that is to um, you know applying your liner pressing them together so that your lashes uh, flow very smoothly with with um, the falsies now we're going to apply a Mary Kay gel liner it comes with an applicator although I'm using my little brush there and um, um, another reason I didn't want to say it then is that I like it partly outer the, the end of the lash out a little bit is it it's a really great guide for getting a really nice crisp line which you're going to see shortly here a nice crisp line with the gel liner and just having it like say if you struggle with making sure like the, like make, really making a really great cat eye that's an easy like almost like having a stencil there in a way to guide you and then you can fill in any place that you know to make your eyes both um, uh, even I'm sorry <laughs> and see with this particular brand you can really there's not a band band that you can see um, it, it almost looks like you know your lash is growing out so you might want to cover that up if you don't want to see that now I'm gonna use the mechanical brush uh, mechanical uh, black liner MK black and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna tight line it underneath there um, and then I will even put a little liner at the bottom to kind of connect them now we're gonna do shy blush and desert rose those are what the cheeks call for for the cheery and cherry look so we're applying our shy blush first using our Mary Kay cheek brush now desert rose these colors just really give your skin such a beautiful rosy glow they really do and I'm gonna get my powder brush and I'm gonna kind of blend those blend those two together you can also take your brush in your if you have the two colors sitting together in your compact and just swirl them together over applying them one and two whichever works best now I'm just gonna use an old cloth that I always wash and clean and keep for my brushes for dusting them off especially if you only have one set of brushes it makes it really handy they dust off really clean and easily now we're gonna use glaze as our highlight color and all of these colors are listed in the holiday lookbook so you really can recreate this look or if you have similar colors already you could use those colors to create the same look and we're dusting off our brush and we're just gonna use that same powder brush to kinda smooth out any rough spots or rough edges of our highlight because we want it to just be a very seamless look now we're going to use our cherry lip lacquer ultra stay long wearing lipstick which is just super awesome it's a liquid lip lacquer check out the video if you want to see the plum in action but this look calls for cherry 
and we're going to do two coats of it in this each one of the kits comes with the lip lacquer the lip sealant which is the second step and it also comes you know when you're done for the day you're in for the night it does come with the lips uh, lip lacquer remover so you can gently take that off when you take your makeup off but it's super cool because you can eat and drink and literally it doesn't come off on anything it is a beautiful color and I really think it looks amazing on all skin tones just remember to keep your lips apart and let them dry a little bit we are going to apply a second coat cool thing is it really doesn't take long to dry which is amazing this look is a fun look for all your holiday parties and even you can carry it on straight through to New Year's Eve if you want <laughs> now for step two the sealant it's gonna give it that high shine it's gonna lock your color in and you're just gonna be ready to go so that way you know you're at a cocktail party you're at a holiday party you're eating you're drinking you're dancing you're living it up you don't even have to worry about your lipstick you're gonna be good to go for the evening which is super exciting and you see there's no no color on it because it is completely dried which is super awesome so there it is ta-da have a very happy holiday season here we are cheery and cherry Christmas 2019 hope you have a wonderful 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 day we look just like her <laughs> but what a fun fun look have an incredible day bye bye